perfect. I don't think any leader, parent, boss is ever going to be perfect. It's a story we heard we told you about first here on Valley News Live. Our investigative team uncovered allegations of abuse against former NDSU cheer coach Verona Winkler. Several cheerleaders claim she was physically, emotionally and verbally abusive, forcing them to perform while injured sometimes. But now several other former NDSU cheerleaders are coming forward with their own stories supporting their former coach. Valley News team's Nishe Taylor has details. I guess I was just, I was saddened. I'm really shocked by the allegations, if I'm speaking candidly. Some former cheerleaders are now coming to the defense of former NDSU cheerleading coach Verona Winkler. These, these accusations that are being made are just, they're just unfair. They say she had an old school coaching style, but it was never a cause for concern. She was hard. She told you what you needed to hear versus what you wanted to hear. And she was always very... Um, tough, but I also am military and have had a lot of coaches like she is, does not even come close to like the toughness that I'm used to. This group of athletes say they aren't discrediting those who have spoken out, but say their experience is far from what others are claiming. I never once felt like she was out of line or expected too much. One of the biggest complaints was that Winkler forced some cheerleaders to perform through injuries. If it was too much, we would tell her, like, I can't stop today, like, it, it's hurting. We always said, oh, we didn't have to go through the injury. Did we personally push through times? Yes, I can 100% say that there were times I wasn't feeling it, but if we had a competition, we had a show, we had something coming up that needed to be done, um, I did it. And some say they expect that type of coaching at the collegiate level. Every athlete, every sport um, at that collegiate level, you don't go in expecting, you know, to stay the same. You're pushed to be better. They have a certain standard. They add a generational divide may even explain their difference in experiences. The mentality is different. So I could definitely see how her style could be misunderstood. But through it all, these individuals believe Winkler genuinely cared for all of the cheerleaders she coached over the years. We never once, you know, doubted her coaching, um, where she was coming from, her heart. She really did care about us, and we all felt that. In Fargo, Nishay Taylor, Valley News Live. You can find some of the other complaints from Winkler on our website, valleynewslive.com. Winkler has since resigned from her position as NDSU cheer coach after two decades. We've tried to reach out to her for comment, but we have not heard back.